I think this title presents a question that a lot of people have, and that is, well, what is cannabis? Uh, so we're going to look at investigate a little bit of the background for what cannabis actually is. So first off, what does the name mean? Religious cannabis uh, is probably indigenous to the wet habitats of the Asiatic continent here. So this is probably likely where it was originated or grown. Now, I do have a couple links here for uh, some sources if you want to go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the information that I have here and try to present a summary of this. So where did cannabis, cannabis originate? Well, cannabis has a long coexisted with mankind, which led to early domestication of the plant shown up in a lot of old records uh, so it's been around uh, in human interactions for a very long period of time because probably um, one reason why it's been around is it's the diverse amount of uses so it could be used as textiles for fibers such as hemp uh, for clothing or in this case a hemp bag also uh, narcotic or psychoactive compounds so it kind of serves uh, potentially two different purposes now, what's the difference between cannabis, hemp, and marijuana? So this is a very kind of key and important uh, distinction here. Cannabis, the plant is tall with a stiff upright stem divided into serrated leaves and these gladial hairs. It's used to produce hemp fiber and also a psychotropic drug. Now, specifically hemp. So cannabis is kind of a broad category that includes both hemp and marijuana. Hemp specifically the cannabis plant grown for fiber or other non-psychoactive components. Typically has a high medical value due to the CBDs, which is the cannabinoid produced, and needs to have less than 0.3% THC to be federally classified as hemp. Now a plant called marijuana will, may look very similar to hemp and almost indistinguishable. What defines it as marijuana is a cannabis plant that is high in THC, and is currently federally illegal. So THC is that psychoactive cannabinoid that gets you the typical, what's associated with cannabis or marijuana is the high. Hemp is at less than 0.3% THC and typically grown for its fiber or its medicinal CBD value. So hemp and marijuana are both classified under cannabis. Hemp is gonna be by far our focus here. Now, current or modern cannabis is represented by many cultivar cultivated varieties that are often unstable taxonomic foundations. You'll hear these names, that, for example, it's called Green Crack, uh, all these crazy names uh, that have very unstable taxonomic foundations. Uh, the names are very variable. So it gets into how do we name cannabis? Well, an application of the taxon system to the genus cannabis, together with sativa and indica distinction, should be avoided. Uh, the sativa and indica not really a great um, correlation to the plant may indicate the morphology of the plant but doesn't go much beyond that uh, the whole goal here is kind of to use the international code for nomenclature for cultivated plants abbreviated the icncp it is not mandatory to use the spe specific epithets so sativa or indica or a combination of the genus name and cultivar epithet in any language and bound by single quotation marks. So an example would be cannabis, and then in single quotation marks would be the cultivar that would be used. Uh, so this defines the name of that cannabis cultivar. There's been literally hundreds of cannabis uh, cultivated varieties developed and named by medical patients and also recreational users. The downfall to utilizing or adopting the system is that few of these have been treated as the real cannabis cultivars and having been regularly named and registered according to the proper channels. So the names such as um, Sierra Super Lemon, uh, Big Bud, the Green Crack, Skywalker are all kind of just names used by recreational users and really don't have any core meaning as far as the proper way to name a plant. There's a lack of a standard, so this is causing a major issue, particularly with marijuana strains that lack an adequate description. For this reason, their names cannot be accepted as cultivar the epithets, so any strain that has not been formally described as a cultivar, for example, the so-called sour diesel, should be named as, fo as follows, the cannabis strain uh, sour diesel, with their popularized name without single quotation marks, having in mind that their names have no taxonomical validity. So just because sour diesel is a very common um, high THC form of cannabis on the East Coast, 
really that name just kind of tossed around and doesn't have that true taxonomical background because there's lack of a standard. So you can see here a bud of sour diesel, here's a bug of Argo blackberry. Really these names are just kind of out there and used but aren't really scientifically backed.